Hi everyone, I wanted to share a quick video to show you the functionality of the Ghoster app. I am currently using a MacBook Air and using Safari on it, but you can use uh, Chrome uh, on a Windows machine, you can use a phone, you can use an iPad, whatever is most convenient, but it is easiest to show this on, on, a, on a Mac and the, the experience is much better on a, on a bigger screen. So first things first, you go to the the web page agoster.com and once you are there you'll see this this screen there's a story time button there's a how to use button uh, all of the videos on getting started will be on this so when i click this it will load up all of the videos uh, but by default what you do is you go ahead and click on the story time and one of the first thing that happens in Safari specifically is Safari blocks pop-ups. So you'll see this error saying that pop-up blocked in Safari um, and please click the button again. Uh, this doesn't show up on, on Chrome, so this is only a, a Safari specific thing. So go ahead and click story time once more. This will open up the, the authentication or uh, the site and you can use your Gmail account in order to lo log in. Uh, now I'm using one of my accounts over here, so you, all you have to do is go ahead and click on it. And once you do, uh, you'll be asked to give permission for the camera and the microphone. So allow it because you're trying to get a uh, connection going. And as soon as you do that, hi, this is me. Uh, as soon as you do that, you'll see a few different apps or icons uh, get highlighted. So create room, join room, set up, and record the screen. Uh, I'll focus on just these two uh, first. So the simplest use case is once you're on the app or on the web page, right? You click create room, and once you create the room, you've created a session which somebody else can join in. Um, you can go ahead and copy this. Oops, copy this whole thing and send it by email to somebody and then when they click on that link they'll join in this session but for this video what i'm going to show you is just uh, as a single person how do you access different functionality so the two main features that you have in the app right now are the interactive reading section and interactive drawing section so if i start off from the interactive reading so start reading and you'll see a few different things you see a central window over here this window is showing you the different pages or will show you the different pages of the book. Uh, you have a, a cursor over here which has a red, shiny red dot in there and that is a dot which is supposed to show you as well as the person on the other end where the pointer is and this becomes really handy when you're trying to show something in a particular book which I'll, will, I'll show you in just a minute. Now selection of the books is fairly simple. You click on select book and it will load up all of the different books that you have access to right now. Now, this is not a fully exhaustive list as yet. This is just an initial list that I've created, but the idea is as we go ahead and keep on adding more books to it, you can have a much bigger, larger library of books that will be available that people can read. So I can just go ahead and select the first book, A Beautiful Day, right? Um, next page, next page, this is fairly straightforward. And like I said, the pointer over here is going to show you uh, a, a nice way to interact with the book. So you can, uh, if you're talking to your grandkid, right, you can say point out where the lizard is and they'll probably show this over here. And as a person on the other end, you can actually see where the cursor is uh, or you can show that, oh, look, that the sun is rising. And this is fairly simple to do with a finger if you're sitting right next to the person, but it is extremely difficult to do if you are trying to do this over an online communication medium like a video call or like in this case, an app, right? And so having a pointer, a shared pointer makes it really easy to see what the other person is pointing at and it makes the, the session more enjoyable. Uh, another thing which is show, shows up in a couple of different books is I also added some of the 3D content. So if I click on the kittens, for example, this is one of the examples here. What that will do is it will load up another book but it will also load up the 3D content associated with the book. Now, right now it is still fairly simple, not nothing too fancy, but you can move this around, you can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, so you can move the whole thing uh, and really it makes it very enjoyable um, to have 3D content to play, look around and, and 
I've seen my daughter laugh out loud a lot of times just watching this little kitten uh, having fun. So uh, it's, it's, it's quite an enjoyable experience. So try that out too. Uh, there is another book over here, I would say, which has 3D content, which is The Lost Laugh. So this one has um, an elephant uh, that shows up. And again, like I said, the idea is each of the different apps will have different kind of content that you can interact with. So in this one, the elephant's moving, I can zoom in and out, right? I can move this guy around and again, just have a lot of fun moving this and doing things with it. So uh, yeah, so that's the part about reading. Now, let me go ahead and do stop reading on this one. Um, and the second thing that I'd like to show you is the start drawing aspect. So if I click on start drawing, again, what you'll see is a central canvas and this is your drawing canvas, right? So you can go ahead and draw whatever you need to. In order to get things started, I've given a few different aspects or like a few different sketches that you can color within. So you can go ahead and select a particular color, let's say red, and you can go ahead and draw this out. Uh, and again, just go ahead and do the coloring. Now, again, in this case, you're seeing only one side of the view, uh, but this as this motion or all of this coloring that you're doing is happening on a shared canvas. So the other person who joins the app is going to see exactly this and more so when they color a different part of this, they'll also see the same, you will start seeing that content show up too. So again, it's all about that shared experience of drawing together, reading together, interacting with the content together. Uh, there are, like I said, a few different sketches that are provided. So there's basic A, B, C, D, um, right? There's a few more, like a horse that is really popular with people. Uh, and sparrows, lions. Um, this is not an exhaustive list. These are just initial numbers or baseline. But what I've also done is as the last page, right? It's a, it's a blank canvas. So you can really go ahead and draw whatever you want to. Uh, one of the really interesting things that I've done is you can play, I don't know, tic-tac-toe, right? So you can just make this, have the, the both of you doing that. Or if you want to, you can just go ahead and <laughs> draw the mountains, draw sun, or whatever makes the most sense. But again, this is a canvas for freestyle drawing or a shared drawing experience with, with your grandkids or with the, the other person you're interacting with. So I'm going to do stop drawing on this one. And yeah, this is pretty much what I wanted to show for the first part. The second video that I'll create will talk about how do you take this and have a second person join this session so that you can do all of these things together. All right. Thank you.